Hi, this is Todd, and today is Tuesday, June 22nd, 2010. This is a female of Euphelodes and Scylla uh, as uh, aligned to the Anoptes group. Today we're going to talk about rearing techniques of how to rear this butterfly. Uh, this female right now is nectaring on uh, buckwheat, don't know the common name, Ariogonum heracleoides. And as you can see here, the host plant is everywhere. I mean, all those white flowers you see off in the distance along this hillside. Um, is this buckwheat, or Ariogonum heracleoides. Apologize for the wind noise in the background. Um, because there's so much host plant in all directions, it's pretty impractical uh, to walk up to the host plant and look for caterpillars, especially on uh, this particular buckwheat because of the way the flowers are positioned, it's very easy for the caterpillars to hide. And considering we have acres and acres of host plant here, uh, the strategy we're going to take with this bug is to collect live females and set them up in a twin cup type setup uh, We're back in the lab and we have some cuttings here of the buckwheat host plant. And what we're going to do is we have uh, four live females that we collected out in the field uh, in this cup. And they're going to stay there uh, while we set up our twin cup method to get eggs out of females. Twin cup methods is a very good technique for uh, raising butterflies either uh, to get eggs out of females, as we're going to do here, or as we ha have set up here, we have some Ariogonum in the Ariogonum ovalifolium set up for another species yet to be determined of Euphelodes blues. So anyway, what we're going to do is put these females, uh, I'm going to chill them first, in here. And what's nice about this twin cup method for this particular species, Euphelodes ancilla, is that the host plant doubles both as a nectar source as well as a uh, point of oviposition. And so you don't need to worry about feeding your females because whenever females fly in nature uh, and uh, bask, they can either bask on the host plant, they can lay eggs on the host plant, and or nectar on the host plant, which makes it a nice little setup. You don't need and as you can see here, the females are active. Some of them are basking with this setup, uh, as we have some uh, indirect sunlight coming through the window. Some of them are nectaring on the, era, on the host plant, and others... Uh, if you watch long enough, we'll actually walk around like that female is right there and stick out her ovipositor. I don't have this. Let's see, is she looking to ovipositor or looking to nectar? If I can get the right angle showing her walking around with her ovipositor out. That female in the center, do you see her there? She's both basking and looking to lay eggs. One thing that's important to realize that John Emmel taught me is that Euphelodes and Scylla females prefer to oviposit on the open petals of the Ariogonum flowers. Not so much on the buds like other uh, blues will. And so I thought it important to get host plant that had uh, some buds but some open flowers uh, for the females both to nectar on as well as to lay eggs on. So we'll see how we do. Thanks.